Where did we come from? Theories about the beginning of the world are as varied and diverse as the people and cultures who adhere to them. In certain Native American cultures, caves aren't just geological wonders. They're sacred spaces, seen as portals between our world and the spirit world. It was from these darkened depths that their ancestors brought life and knowledge to the world. So when we gaze into these caverns, we're not just seeing rock formations. We're peering into the very heart of creation itself. Join me as I leave the Texas Hill Country behind for the Chihuahuan Desert of New Mexico to explore one of the most beautiful and accessible cave systems on the planet, Carlsbad Caverns. So to tell the truth, I've actually been to Carlsbad before. It was back in 1986 when I was on a road trip with my mom. And we decided to stop at Carlsbad Caverns on the way to Santa Fe. While I don't really remember all that much about it, let's actually turn on some light here. While I don't actually remember all that much about the trip, I do remember having lunch uh, underground down in the big room, and I remember staying after to watch the bats swoop out above our heads. There were so many bats. It was definitely one of my favorite childhood memories with my mom. And honestly, I think it's time to just go ahead and renew those memories. So yeah, that's it for tonight. Just gonna try to get a good night's rest. Start earlier in the morning, head on out.
Alrighty, good morning. So sorry about the quick cutoff yesterday. By the time I got here to my camp spot, I was worn out, man. Nine hours driving on the road kind of took it out of me. Um, but I got here, had a good night's sleep. Uh, I've been up since about five o'clock this morning. Right now it's about six o'clock or so. Got me a cup of coffee. I've already had my shower. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and make some breakfast and uh, in a couple hours I'm going to head into the park. I've got a, an 8.30 entry time at uh, Carlsbad Caverns. Go in and get my ticket for the walking tour. Unfortunately I didn't have, uh, I didn't get any tickets for the guided tours because I waited much too long to try to buy them and of course they were all sold out. But that's okay, not a big deal. Uh, it's still going to be great. It's supposed to get to about 101 or 102 degrees out here today. Uh, so I'm pretty happy that I'm going to be down in the cave. Anyway, I'm going to make some breakfast and uh, head on out. I think I'm just going to have a simple breakfast here of some Brussels sprouts and a little bit of rice and an egg. I think that'll be plenty for this morning. Carlsbad Caverns consists of 120 limestone caves, and it's limestone that makes this whole underground world possible. It covers nearly 10% of the Earth's surface, and most caves around the world are found in limestone. It's composed of minerals from ancient marine shells and corals. So although the caverns sit over 4,000 feet above sea level, the limestone they're made from was laid down 265 million years ago by an ancient reef covered by a large inland sea. Native Americans have been living in this area for 14,000 years, so certainly they knew of the cave. But it's a man named Jim White who is best remembered as the discoverer and explorer of what we call Carlsbad Caverns. James Larkin White was born July 11, 1882 on a small ranch in Mason County, Texas. He began working in the cattle business at a young age, preferring it to going to school, saying he'd rather be busting broncos to books and blackboards. When Jim was 10, his father took him to the southeastern corner of the New Mexico Territory to work at the ranch of John and Dan Lucas, and at 16 years old, he made his mark deep inside Carlsbad Caverns. Jim was out in the Chihuahuan Desert when he saw what he first believed to be smoke. As he drew closer to inspect, he found himself at the edge of a large opening in the ground, describing the moment by saying, I found myself gazing into the biggest and blackest hole I had ever seen, out of which the bats seemed literally to boil. A few days later, Jim returned to the cave, assembled a makeshift ladder, and using a homemade lantern for light, he descended into the darkness for the first time. Unlike Mr. White, we don't have to climb down the ladder to get into the caverns but we do have to descend 750 feet beneath the earth to see what it is he found.
Chicken Well. Um, snack bar area was closed, but I did go through there. Um, and I think it still looks the same as I remember it. I'm pretty sure it had a round, like the snack bar was a circular thing, and, and it still looks like it is. Um, and unfortunately for us today, the elevators are down. Was not expecting to have to walk back up. But, say la vie. That's life, baby. It don't always work out for you. I sure am glad I came back. I sure do love you, Mom. Bringing me here was one of the greatest trips that you could have ever given a kid, especially for a kid like me. Okay, holy cow. I was not expecting to have to walk back up this today. This is murder, and it is like super, I mean, it's humid in here to begin with, but now that I'm back in natural light, it doesn't even seem natural. Like, it looks crazy to me. Like, coming out of the darkness, all the lights that are showing all the features in the canyon or in the caverns, they're all really warm lights. So seeing the sunlight was really blue and it did not look natural at first. I guess another thing I didn't expect was for my ears to pop on the way back up. Okay, wow, we are really climbing. This is crazy. Um, I came down here, I think I hit the entrance a little after nine o'clock this morning and it's just about 2.15 now. And I am beat. Yeah, still got a little ways to go. Oh, you can smell. It's funny. I didn't smell really much bat guano at all when I first came in. But boy, you can really smell it now. Especially the ammonia in it. it smells a little sweeter up here. But down in the cave, as you're coming back up, it smells like B.O. And I gotta keep going before I get pooped on by one of these cave swallows. Alrighty, well, I finally made it back up here. I'm right by the uh, little amphitheater. And uh, final thoughts. It was as amazing, as amazing as I remember. Um, some things were different though, like once I saw some of the features in there, they sparked memories. And I seem to remember like different features that used to be lit up that are no longer lit. Um, and there used to be, I could swear there were like colored lights, different colored lights in some of the spots before, but that may not be true at all. So, um, Again, absolutely worth it, but I am worn out, and uh, rightfully so. That hike back up was brutal. Uh, I started walking out from the big room at 1.39, and I got back up here to the amphitheater at uh, 2.21, so not too bad. Um, about 40 minutes, which is considerably quicker than I thought it would be to be honest. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, maybe consider subscribing to my channel, and until next time, I'll see you later.